Welcome back, everybody. Starting lineups has been called tonight, and it is set for go time. And Scuba, good evening, Austin Buchanan. We are courtside tonight, 10 minutes on the clock. Lady Lions are getting ready to rock the house tonight against this coastal Alabama Lady Eagles. I hope you're excited as I'm excited. We have a lot of basketball in store. Women's action followed by the men's. Tipping things off is going to be number 14 for the Lady Lions. And that's going to be Brianna Page. And it's going to be Coastal Alabama Lady Eagles winning tip off loose ball. And it's going to be nearly a takeaway for the Lady Lions. Can't hold on to it. It's going to go out of bounds. Lady Eagles will get it back on their first possession. Making the inbounds plays going to be Buchanan. Buchanan makes a bounce pass inside. Mismatch underneath the size. And they're going to kick band count top. Going around to Buchanan. Buchanan's going to penetrate. Jump shots up and away. Off the block and good. Right over the defender, Brianna Page. 2-0 here early. Lady Lions first possession down the court offensively. Going to penetrate inside. Up and away. In traffic, no good. And taken away by Matty Riley. They're going to kick back out. Rush going to give over to Ty Metcalf. Metcalf's going to run over to the right side. Now back swing around top of the perimeter. Looking, looking. Brianna Page can't find anything. She's going to take a dribble inside. Penetrates up and away. And back of the iron and out. No good. Rebounded by Charlissa Wellington. Wellington's going to give over to the right side. And Taylor penetrates inside. Round the rim off. Rebounded by Rush. She'll get her first defensive rebound here tonight. Here's Metcalf. Lobs inside of Riley and uh, over a throw and out of bounds. I guess in football, you would say incomplete pass on fourth down, so that's going to be a, a turnover for the Lady Lions. Her first tonight, 8.45 left to go here in the opening quarter. Not too many fans here tonight. Hopefully that will change slowly but surely. 8.38 left to play here in the opening first quarter. Ball up top is going to be Walker. Walker swings around, top of the keep, reball. Lightly contested, can't get it to fall as Diamond and Cannon. It's going to be rebounded back the other way. Here comes Lady Lions. Page looking. Right wing back up top to Metcalf, the ball handler for the Lady Lions. They're going to pass it around now to the left side. Assembly Evans with control of the basketball. Lady Lions trail by two here early on. Back up top to Metcalf. Metcalf guarded by Yesha Taylor. 
Back over now to Rush. Rush, three seconds on the shot clock. Got to make a move. No double dribble. Off that one. Shot up and away. No good. Missed shot by Brianna Page. Right of the rim and out. Back the other way now. The shot clock nearly expired. Wide open three. No good. Missed by Walker. Loose ball. Offensive rebound. And coming away with the board was Destiny Simpson. You can see out of bounds, last touch off the Lady Eagles of Coastal Alabama. Good to have you on this Thursday night of MAC JC basketball action. We'll have some scores around for you tonight as uh, we have two contests, two different teams on the campus tonight. East Mississippi penetrates up and away. Nice move. Grace up half inside and gets it as number 10, Emily Evans. Tied ball game now, 2-2 off of three possessions already for the Lady Lions. Penetrates up and away, right? They cannot get it to fall. Now it's going to be a miss lay by Buchanan. Back the other way, here comes Lady Lions. Going to push up uh, Metcalf. Doing what she does, bet, penetrates, count it. Three-point play coming. Ty Metcalf takes it coast to coast from left to right. Lays it in, she's hacked, and she'll go to the line to shoot one. A chance at a three-point opportunity. 7.02 now to stand still. Metcalf, three-point play up and away. Knocks it down. Free throw's good. 5-2 now. Lady Eagles trail. We can get past the full-court press. Results in the turnover. It's going to be out of bounds. Lady Lions will get possession. Just under seven now left to go. Metcalf, the ball handler, man-to-man -man defense. She's guarded heavily by Yesha Taylor, four-way Eagles of Coastal Alabama. Swings around right side. Three ball, fires up and away, around the rim and out. Popcorn machine comes on, but thankfully, Amia Rush was there to come away with the offense rebound and put it up, up back up for two. 7-2 now. Lady Lions off to a good start, and Lady Eagles answer back on the other end. 4-7. <laughs> A lot of action in the store. We have a men's game, and then followed by a our women's contest, followed by a nightcap uh, finale with the men's action. Billy Bagley and his Lions. We'll have him on prior to the men's tip-off, talking about the road game to Indiana. Loose ball and out of bounds. Last touch by the Lady Eagles of Coastal Alabama. Seven four, and we are about four minutes into the opening quarter here in Scuba tonight. Deflected, good defense, cannot hold on to it, out of bounds. Last touch of Murata Walker. Page making an inbound, looking for a guard. Far sideline, gets over a tight Metcalf. Metcalf, the true freshman, is going to call for the screen by Riley. Metcalf's going to penetrate right side, can make her own lane again, goes up, finishes right side of the block. With the finger roll, and she gets it 9-4, that's four points. Five points for Metcalf here to start off the first quarter. And Lady Eagles answer back with a two-year girl. A nice, easy floater inside with his Yesha Taylor. And that's to make it a three-point lead now for this Lady Alliance. 538 counting down here in the first, down to 535. Emily Evans has possession of the basketball. Back up top time, Metcalf. Pump fakes, penetrates inside in traffic. And there's be a foul called on Lady Eagles with 529 left to go. We're going to call the foul on number 30 for the Lady Eagles. This is uh, Char Charlissa Wellington, the sophomore to Montgomery. Lady Lions with the basketball underneath her own goal. She's going to lob it back to Metcalf. Metcalf going to plant her feet right at the half court line to avoid that court violation. Metcalf loses control of it. Good defense. Tries to get inside to rush. Deflected back the other way. Two on one now. And Buchanan cannot get it to go in the lay in. It's going to be a on the floor foul called on the Lady Lions. They're going to call it on Amia Rush. Myrish. Brianna Green's getting ready to check in, 513. And then she will give Rush a break for Lady Lions. So Brianna Green checks in. And then for the Lady Eagles, it's Shadea Chandler, the freshman out of Hamilton, Georgia. Inbound pass up and away. No. And there's going to be a foul called on the floor. So they're going to call this one on Emily Evans. She's going to get her first personal. Each team has committed two team fouls here early on. 5.08 left to play here in the opening quarter. Here tonight in Scuba. 
With possession of the basketball is Destiny Simpson. Simpson swings around to Murata Walker. Walker guarded by Green. Back up top. Now back to the left side. They went left to right, right to left. Now back up to the center of the key. Here comes Buchanan's going to penetrate on Evans. Jump shot around the rim and contested and good. Gets it to go. 9-8. Green's going to swing over to the left side to Metcalf. Metcalf's going to set up the offensive play call here. Back up top. And work it left wing inside to the right. She was looking for Evans down low on the cut. I think they call that a back door. And uh, Miss Fires out of bounds. Last touch off the fingertips of the Lady Eagles. Lady Lions basketball. Far right corner now. Evans can be making the inbounds. Evans looking, making the inbound play up to Maddie Riley. Riley right of the elbow up and away. Draws the foul and going to call offensive charge on Maddie Riley. She got the basket. But they're going to say the defender wins the battle there. This is going to be blown after the offensive charge. Maddie Riley will pick up a foul. Lady Lions going to send a full court press here. See what the Lady Eagles can do. Oh, breaks past it, no problem. Loses control of the basketball. Riley picks it up. Hands off, and there's going to be a travel call on the Lady Lions. First, I thought it was going to call defensive foul, but they called the travel on Brianna Page. That's a turnover for the Lady Lions. 4.18 now left to play here in the opening quarter. Up top's Buchanan. Buchanan swings around right side. They're going to work top of the perimeter. Looking, looking. Good defense by Brianna Page. And they're going to reset up the offense. Murata Walker now to guard position. She was looking inside of Buchanan. Decides so not to give it to her. Kicks it back out. Over to Taylor. Taylor. Tries to make a bounce pass inside, turnover. Riley comes out with it and give it over to Green. Green's going to take it outlet right side. Green's calling for the play call. For a moment there, it looks like Green had an open shot. Decides not to take it. They're going to swing around. Up top to Evans. Right side to Green. Green feeds inside of Riley. Riley's going to go to work. Turn around, jump shot. Up and away. Good off the glass and in. Right side of the block, and that's exactly what you want to do. If you're Sharon Thompson, Lady Lions, use Matty Riley's. Advantage underneath, and she answers for two. Laying back the other way, no good. Now here comes the Lady Lions. Green back the other way. Green, right side, Evans penetrates. Pro hops inside, deflected, and they're going to call a foul. Evans be making the inbound now. Underneath her own goal, checking into the ball game for the Lady Eagles will be Michaela Schutz and Chandler. She'll check in. Chandler, 5'11". A lot of size to this Lady Eagles ball club tonight. Second time they bashed up in this, uh, this, this season as Lady Lions able to get the victory. First game of the season when they travel to Coastal. Lady Lions... Won that game on the road, 57 to 47. Lady Lions look inside on inbound. Maddie Riley this time getting her name called. Two points off the left side of the block. So, Lady Eagles going to penetrate inside. And another whistle. A lot of whistles here early. 3.03 left to go now in the first quarter. Lady Lions, and they can make it inbound. Now she does. <laughs> Lady Lions going to try to come across this trap. Throws into traffic, intercepted back the other way for the Lady Eagles. Over to Buchanan. Buchanan's going to penetrate. Turn around, jump shot. Off balance, deflected. And Green come away with the rebound. Green tries to make the save, and it's going to be out of bounds. Correction. Tontiana Normant is the one that's come away with the Rebound and loses control out of bounds. Last touch off the hands of Lady Lions. It's uh, Lady Eagles basketball. Out of bounds. Now Lady Eagles going to look to answer back. Buchanan underneath. Going to feed inside to Chandler up and away. Back of the rim and out. Come away. Maddie Riley with the defensive board. Going to push it. Right side. 
Here comes Lady Lions, coast to coast. She's going to take it by herself. Front of the rim and out. Miss lay opportunity by Alicia Jennings. She had the good read and made her own path. Just can't convert on the other end. Walker now inside, up and away, right of the rim, no good. Riley comes away with another board. Here comes Green now, Green, right side to Norman. Norman's going to make a move, up and away, good. Pontiana, Norman. Answers with the two inside off the pass from Brianna Green. Count that assist for Green. Buchanan now has it. Left side guarded heavily by Norman. Loses control. Kicks back up top now to Shoots. Shoots. Looking. Bounce pass inside to Buchanan. Turn around. Jump shot up and away. No good. Uh, around the rim and out. Offense rebound. Other put back. Around the rim. Falls out. Popcorn machine continues to stay on. And this time it's Amaya Rush come away with the defense rebound. You can give it to Norman. Norman makes the wrong path again. No good. The loose ball. Rush comes away with it. No good. Maddie Riley up and away. Count it. Three point play. And that's what offensive rebounds can do. This is their second three point opportunity here in this ball game. Ty Metcalf got the call earlier for a three point opportunity. Converted. And now getting the call is Maddie Riley. 114 left to play here in quarter number one. Good to have you part of our Thursday night edition of MACJC College Basketball Action. Free throw is no good. Chandler will come away with the rebound and now back the other way. At the guard spot still Murata Walker. Walker guarded by Green. Man-to-man -man defense for Sharon Thompson. Lady Lions finds the screen right at the elbow. Signs to dribble around to the right corner. Now kicks it back up top to Haley Jadzinski. Let go to work, three seconds, shot clock to beat. Got a feed inside, but the buzzer, no good. That's gonna be a rebound for the offense. So uh, Murata Walker. I'm still trying to figure out how she got there. You had two Lady Lions underneath. And Walker comes away with the the rebound, it still surprises me in men's and women's action how the smallest player always comes away with the rebound. You can have two non-flick guys in there, in the Rosinski, and <laughs> still the guy that's 5'3 will come away with it. 35 seconds remains here in quarter number one. So glad to have you as uh, Lady Lions with a 2-2 two and two overall record for this season. Making the inbounds and be the Lady Eagles. Good defensive pressure. Up top is Walker. Walker's going to swing right side to Shoots. Shoots guarded by Metcalf. Now they're going to be back up top to Destiny Irvin. 18 seconds. Six seconds separate game clock, shot clock. Inside, up and away. No foul call. Loose ball, and Lady Eagles will recover. They're going to call a foul this time, but 10 seconds left to go. On the Lady Lions. They'll call that one on Tantiana Normant. Obvious reach in call. 10 seconds left to go. Lady Lions breathing room lead. And they're going to let this one run out. Walker hands it 5, 4, 3. They're going to make a play. Loose ball. 2, 1 at the buzzer. No good. And that'll do it for quarter number one. Lady Lions. Offensive production gives them the early lead and we will take a time out we'll be right back here on the east mississippi sports network
quarter number two now underway as Lady Lions wrap up quarter number one against this Coastal Alabama Lady Eagles ball club with a 17-8 lead. Lady Lions answer. First possession to start off the second quarter, 19-8. It's now a 11-point lead for the Lady Lions. They're going to feed up top. Tries to make a feed inside. Stolen. Taken away. Going back now for Lady Lions is Jennings. Jennings gives a pass inside. A foul is going to be called. It's a good look inside to Brianna Page. Page can't convert, but she'll go to the line to shoot two with 9-12 remaining here in quarter number two. Good to have you as always, Austin Buchanan, court sign to my right, uh, David Rosinski. The <laughs> official st statistician for East Mississippi. <laughs> Page, second one's no good. Makes one, misses one, one for one. 20 to eight now, 9.07 left to go here in the first Half of basketball, and as we are in the second quarter, as always, women's actions four quarters. Lady Eagles tonight, they're in the maroon jerseys with the gray trim. Lady Lions in the white jerseys, red trim. Three balls good, gets it to go is shoots. Shoots knocks it down. Michaela shoots a sophomore 5'5 five five out of Foley, Alabama, alumni of Foley High School. Knocks down the three point train, 20 to 11. Amaya Rush now gives over. Right side, penetrates up and away, and they're going to call offensive charge once again. That's the second one they called on the Lady Lions. This time they're going to call it on Brianna Page. The defender has won both times for Coastal Alabama, setting that charge. Substitutions coming in. Coming out is going to be Tantiana Normant. Checking in is going to be Maddie Riley. Riley's back in, and also going out is going to be Brianna Page. Metcalf, Riley, Rush, and Jennings will be the five that, and Evans will be the five that Sharon Thompson has on the floor for Lady Lions with 8.29 left to go here in the second quarter, a 2011 ball game in favor of Lady Lions. Here comes Lady Eagles now crossing the EM logo, cross center court here tonight in Scuba. Buchanan's going to make a move. Left side up and away. All balance floaters, no good. Rebounded by Rush. Rush gives it. Left side of Metcalf. Metcalf going to penetrate inside. Gets caught up on the defender, and they're going to call a foul on the Lady Eagles on number 22. That's Destiny Irvin, the 5'6 sophomore for Lady Eagles of Coast Alabama out of Pensacola, Florida. Lady Lions will be called on the floor. Inbound taken away, looking for Evans. And Lady Eagles has numbers. 3 on 2 into Buchanan. Buchanan and is taken away as he's looking to make a pass inside the Taylor. Here comes Lady Lions now. Evans pump fakes left wing and drives in. Good. Left of the block. Good move there by Emily Evans. Draws the defender off the pump fake and penetrates. Gets through traffic, knocks it down. Another turnover. Lady Lions come up with the steal. The lob from Metcalf over to Page out of bounds. And that's going to be a turnover. Brianna Green's going to check in now, and Metcalf's going to come out. I don't think Sharon Thompson's happy about the pass there. It's maybe a good read, but Metcalf knew that she could have probably taken a few more steps before making that pass as a two-on-one opportunity. 7.25 now remains in the... Uh, the second quarter, 22-11, Lady Lions on top here tonight. Looking to break the 2-2 two and two record with a victory here tonight. 2-2. Two and two. It's all knotted up, two wins, two losses. Mm -hmm. Nice move, up and away by Buchanan, no good, and out of bounds. Last touch by Maddie Riley off the Lady Lions. Mm -hmm. Lady Eagles making that bound, looking, looking, lobs. 
Ends on to the paint, and that's going to be a walk called on Charlissa Wellington. Lady Lions now have it. Green, Green, looking for help. They're going to send the pressure on Green. Green gets past the half-court line to avoid the turnover. It's Evans now, kicks out left wing. Three ball, good up and away. Cannot get the shot to fall. Missed shot by Jennings. This Lady Eagles in transition. Six and a half minutes left to play. Takes it inside. And traffic and answers. Marana Walker answers with a two of her own. 22-13. Brianna Page at the scores table. It's Rush now. Rush going to feed inside. Good read. Good assist. And the basket's good. The Rush to Emily Evans connection converts for a two. And Evans lays it in off the glass. Nicely done by Emily Evans. Lady Eagles trying to make a pass inside. Loose ball. It's still loose ball. And Lady Eagles recover. Three ball. And pulls up. No good. Riley recovers off the missed three. Riley double team in traffic. Gets it out. Going to fire down right side. Here's Evans all along. And she'll get the easy lay in to fall. Is Emily Evans. They get a 26-13 lead in favor of the Lady Lions here tonight. Buchanan penetrates, kicks in, taking away, another turnover. And here comes Lady Lions up and away. Miss layup. <laughs> Cannot get it to go. And that miss was by Alicia Jennings, the freshman out of Columbus. Jennings, good effort so far here defensively. Penetrates up and away, draws the foul. 5-0-4 now remains. And they're going to call a foul on Maddie Riley. But 5.04 left to go here in the second quarter. 26 13 is your score. First one's up and away, around the rim, and then out. Metcalf will check in. Maddie Riley will come out, and Amaya Rush will come out. Checking in is going to be Brianna Page. Along with Ty Metcalf, 5 4 remains here in the second quarter. Second free throw is good, one for two. I'll make it a 26-14 ball game, 5 3 counting down. Here comes Brianna Green now, the ball handler for Lady Lions. Give over to Evans, left side, works top of the perimeter. Green has it. Green, it penetrates to the right. Looking, nine seconds, and a misread offensively, and Lady Eagles will come away to take away. Walker now to the left side. Taking away, here comes Green. There's going to be a foul call. They're going to call this one on a Rada Walker. It's going to be her first. 426 at a standstill. They're going to reset the shot clock. And here comes the Lady Lions. Brianna Green has it. Left elbow is Jennings. Metcalf, left wing. They're going to feed over to Page. The left elbow, Metcalf. 16 footer around the rim, no good, but the putback up and away. Cannot get it due to contact. And I will send Brianna Page to the line to shoot two after she was hacked by Charlissa Wellington. 408 now. Students starting to make their way in. Some of the football players. Head coach Buddy Stevens is inside the Coliseum tonight. Uh, I congratulate them on their state title last Saturday against the Bombcats at Jones. They have received an invitation to play for the national championship game in Pittsburgh, Kansas against Garden City. So November 29th. That game's actually going to be televised nationally on CBS Sports. 
Lady Eagles with the basketball turnover by Caesar, and that will be Lady Lions basketball now. They're going to send a man-to-man -man full court press. Here it comes Green. Green's going to push the right side. Green, 345 and counting. Green's going to take a far right wing. Green gets tripped up and she's going to call a timeout with 341 left to play here in the second quarter. 27-14. Lady Lions on top. We'll take a break. We'll be right back here in one minute on the East Mississippi Sports Network. Three forty-one left to go as Brianna Green taking the timeout as she gets slipped up on the floor, and she called the timeout on the floor to avoid the risk of a turnover. Lady Lions basketball. Three forty left to play with a breathing room lead. Twenty-seven fourteen. Three thirty-six here in the second. There's four quarters. Green's going to pull up the three ball and way downtown drains it. The timeout paid off as uh, she's the one that took the timeout to avoid the turnover. And she answers with a three. 30 to 14, 16 point lead now in favor of Lady Lions from her home crown tonight. A lot of empty seats due to students uh, having not having class tomorrow. But uh, it seems slowly but surely people start making their way into Coliseum tonight. Caesar's going to feed inside. Can't hold on to it. Loose ball. Green comes away with it. After a few deflections, a hook pass inside. Evans goes up. Cannot answer. No foul goal. They're going to say out of bounds. That's going to be a turnover, 30-14. to 14. And Lady Eagles of Coastal Alabama will get it back. But 2.53 now. <laughs> Substitution being made for Lady Eagles. It's a... Uh, Diamond Buchanan Shochank back in, along with Michaela Schutz. <laughs> Lady Eagles now has it, swings around to the left side to shoot. Schutz looking, looking, they're gonna try to feed inside to the post. Mismatch advantage, turn around jump shot, up and away, around the rim and in, off the left side of the block. Getting it is Abby Blackburn. Six to one out of Columbus, Georgia. Green now. Back for the Lady Lions offensively. 2.25 left to go until halftime here tonight. Quick first two quarters. And penetrates up and away. Kicks out. Three ball wide open. Metcalf. Three. Gets it. Drains it from the right wing from way downtown. And you can put in another three for Metcalf here tonight. 2.08 remains. 33-16. Shoots. Can't hold on to it. So pick it back up. Wings around to the left side is Destiny Irvin. Irvin looks inside the beginning, right with block, turn around, jump shot up and misfires, no good. Rebounded by Metcalf, Metcalf's gonna take it. Left side gets crossed, defenders taking a coast to coast, feeds inside. Nice read, good luck, Metcalf. Coast to coast and the assist dish down low with the baskets, number 14, Brianna Page. So three and an assist from Metcalf. That's what you like to see. 125 now. And it's a 35-16 lead for the Lady Lions. Here tonight in Scuba. Next game will be live on Monday night. As we travel to Shelton State. They're in Tuscaloosa, Alabama at 5.30 p.m. tip-off. The Lady Lions in the men's action. Deep two, way downtown, back of the iron, no good. Rebounded back the other way now. And here comes Jennings. Jennings going to slow it down, give it back up top to Evans. Just under a minute left to play. Shot clock still a factor. Jennings in the guard spot to the right. 
And Irwin call a foul as she was attempting for the steal. And it was Harris with 50 seconds left to go. And uh, now we'll put the Lady Lions in the bonus in favor. Also we'll bringing a page to the free throw line. First one's up. Front of the rim rolls out right side. One more coming. <laughs> a lot of energy for Lady Lions tonight after they come off that big win at, uh, against Sneed State. They won that one. Nail by their 78 76. You look inside, turn around, jump shot, up and away, no good. And defense rebound. Well, it's Evans. Evans going to get past the defenders, taking him back the other way. Evans fires up, penetrates inside, no good. Lady Eagles now back to transition. Game clock, shot clock is pretty much knotted up. Three balls good for Lady Eagles. 18 seconds. Lady Lions going to hold for the last shot here. Brianna Green is going to hold it. We'll have scores and stats around MACJC tonight. We'll take a look at uh, what's going on around, around the league. And penetrates inside. Brianna Green answers. And that will do it for the first half of basketball. Your Lady Lions on top, 38-19. A offensive explosion for Lady Lions. They're on top, 38-19. We'll step aside. We'll be right back here in a few. From Scuba, Mississippi, Lady Lions going into the halftime locker room, 38-19. Here on the East Mississippi Sports Network.
The halftime festivities are over with, and we are ready to start the second half of basketball action here tonight in Scuba. Lady Lions went into the locker room with a breathe-in room lead. Good offensive production and good defense as well. They forced a lot of turnovers there in the first half, able to uh, put points on the board uh, and get the job done from the charity stripe as well. 38-19. Is going to be the score to start the third quarter of basketball action. And Lady Eagles of uh, Coast Alabama will get the ball to start the second half. Billy Begley and his Lions will battle it out tonight. Uh, after this one, they'll play Mid-South Prep. Team out of Memphis, Tennessee. A three ball up and away. No good. Misfires. Rebounded. Here comes back to LA. Lady Lions in transition. Far right side. Here comes Evans. Evans may say... Jab inside, and they're going to call a offensive foul on Emily Evans. I'm going to say she was throwing some bows. That's going to be her second personal, so the team fouls will restart here in the second half. Cheerleaders are here tonight, making our presence known for supporting the Lady Lions. Fans on both sides. Also here, Buddy Stevens inside the house tonight, so... You'll make it out to the men's game and come check out the men's action following this uh, ladies matchup tonight. Sharon Thompson, two and two for the season. Two wins, two losses. The two losses coming against East Central. That was a away game on Thursday, November 8th, and then against Meridian. The first win of the season for Lady Lions is actually against this team. They're in Monroeville, Alabama. And they got a victory at Seed State. So this is their fifth game of the 2018-2019 season. Penetrates up and away. Hey, Evans draws a foul, and the ice comes on the rim and rolls off to the front. Should draw the foul, and the goal line to shoot two is Emily Evans. First one's up and around the rim and out. Lady Lions now, you're looking at the camera or on your screen there. They'll change possessions, left side. Miss free throw, no good. Offense rebound. And missed shot by Rush off the missed free throw. They'll kick it back out to Maddie Riley. Right side, Page. Basket open all the way. Back of the iron, no good, out of bounds. Last touch off the hands, Lady Lions, and Lady Eagles will regain possession. 38-19, just under eight and a half to play here in the start of the third quarter. Good to have you with us this Thursday night. Thank you for allowing me to come into your homes. Watch the game worldwide on our emccathletics.com forward slash website. This will be a travel call. Travel call against the Lady Eagles, and they will go back now. The other possession for Lady Lions. 8 12. So, no full court press here as they are down 38 19. They're going to go to a man to man defense. Here comes Ty Metcalf, the true freshman. Metcalf over to the top of the key. Finds the screen off of Evans. Evans. Correction, finds the screen off of Jones. He's inside to Riley, and he'll give an assist in the stand book to Brianna Page. 40 to 19, 21 point lead now for the Lady Lions. D2 fires, no, three balls good. Murata Walker knocks down the three. First basket to start the second half is the deep three ball by Walker. Lady Lions looking to answer back, that they do not. Miss lay in by Metcalf, Riley comes away with the rebound, missed shot on the second chance opportunity by Rush, now Lady Eagles back the other way. Brings it down center court, kicks out to the left side to McKinnon, back to the left now, left wing, beyond the perimeter. They're gonna set up this Lady Eagles offense. Gonna give it over to Walker. Walker now has it, Walker. Man-to-man -man defense for Lady Lions and Coach Sharon Thompson just under seven now, 6.55 to be exact. Buchanan three ball up and away, good, knocks it down. Six points off of two possessions is on the Lady Eagles answer. Here to start off the third quarter, 25-40. Evans, spin move, inside, up and away, and draws a foul 
A little bit more arc. That may have been a three-point play, but she'll go to the line to shoot two off the contact. We're going to call that one on Aisha Taylor. Allison Emily Evans to the line. Getting ready to come into the ball game. going to be pumping on Norman. Norman's going to check in. The freshman out of four City, Arkansas. She'll check in for Rush. Second one's around the rim, spins out, no good, out of bounds, last touch. Off the fingertips of Maddie Riley. She's going on for the uh, offensive rebound. So one for two there at the charity stripe. 41-25 is your score. Here midway through the third quarter, six and a half to, get to go. Base on low, and one person to beat gets there. Ronald Walker answers, eight points now. Well, they put up here in the third quarter. Looking. Loses control. They was looking for Norman. Norman, the ball handler, she penetrates inside, loses it. That's going to go back the other way now. Here comes Lady Eagles, 6'10 now. Left to go in this third period. Taylor. Over to the left side as Buchanan became back up top to Walker. Walker, three ball, fires, going away, no good. And coming away at the grabs is Emily Evans, just under six. Here comes Evans, Evans looking, swings around, left side, Norman. Had the clear lane, baseline low, and she answers. Tatiana Norman for two, 43-27. Lady Eagles trying to answer with a lay of her own. Can I do it? Miss shot by Taylor. Swings out all day to shoot. Three ball up and away. Good. 11 points now for the Lady Eagles after the big three ball by Destiny Simpson. 12 point game. Norman answers with contact. Biggest lead, I believe, is 21 there at the half. Now 15 point game. 45-30, 11 points already put up on Lady Eagles to start the third quarter. Walker now has it back up top to Wellington. Wellington dish inside, basket's good, firing all cylinders. And Wellington gave it to begin and on the left block, puts it in. 32 to 45, Lady Lions trying to find a stop to this offensive Roll that the Lady Eagles have found here in the third quarter. Feeds inside, Matty Riley, all balance shot up and away, no good. And going back the other way now for Wellington. Wellington. And then a bounce pass out to the right side of Walker. Walker, guarded by Ty Metcalf. It's Taylor now. Taylor tries to feed in traffic and that's taken away, not a good look. Flob, here comes Evans and Evans will lay it in. On the fast break, 47-32. Lady Eagles in transition, answers back with a two of their own. 16-footers good for Alyssa Wellington. 13 points here in the third quarter alone for the Lady Eagles. Taken away, here comes Lady Eagles back the other way in transition. They got numbers back to back and they give it to her, answers. With the lay-in was Destiny Simpson. 36-47, biggest lead, 21, now cut to 11. Timeout taken by the Lady Lions. They want to talk it over. We'll take one with them. 328 left to play here in the third quarter. We'll be right back on the East Mississippi Sports Network. <laughs> 